Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you enjoyed part one of our XS Car Night Wervesey Edition coverage here on Cast TV. We're back for part two. Going to find even more amazing show cars here in Europe. So follow me and let's have a look around again. Check out two UK cars, made the trip over. I, I've lost count with how many halls there actually are with this show. However, surrounding these halls, there's loads of outdoor space. Again, of course, filled with loads more show cars. So let's have a look around, shall we? First off the bat, stunning bends. Look at this, look at the paint. It's got, look like steel wheels, tucking hard. Full interior retrim and stunning red. Gorgeous, gorgeous Merc. Guys, what do you think of this Audi 100 Coupe? Really, really nice. Wow. So check it out. Yet yeah, another bag, Benz W114 Coupe. Bags, full retrim, looks amazing. So I've just bumped into this stunning Corrado. Look at the paintwork on this, what a cool colour. And the owners just told me it's on some custom uh, Volkswagen splits. Real, real period to the car. Uh, it's on Airlift Performance, of course. Stunning, stunning car, dude. What do you think, are you a Corrado fan? It's a G60 as well, so pretty hardcore. Love it. Check out what looks like an S500. Really cool on some massive RH three-piece wheels. Proper VIP, right? I knew we'd see one at Wervesey. This is the place I knew we'd see it. Europe's first G80 M3 on air suspension and wheels. It looks insane. It's actually a factory color. He's got a Vorsteiner front grille going on, which actually changes up the front grille pretty substantially. What do you guys think of that grille? It makes the front end a little bit more, should we say, acceptable. Anyway, super, super cool car on a set of forged wheels. This is actually a manual car, believe it or not. I think most people normally go for the, for the auto on these, but yeah, manual, carbon everywhere. It's got like a cage in here. Really, really cool to see a modified G80 M3 like this. It's not something we really see at the moment. I think because of the price of these things, but guys, what do you think? Drop a comment. Should we upgrade our F80 M3? Should we get a G80? Should we get into one? Should we do something similar to this? I think we're going to start seeing quite a few more of these over the next couple of years. Again, being at Wervesey, of course, there's some stunning classic Volkswagens. Uh, that's what started Wervesey back in the day with the GTI meeting. Uh, obviously, we've got more and more modified ones coming to Excess Car Night now. This is a super cool Mark 1 Jetta. BBS RS is, of course, classic look. Real tidy engine bay. And yes, once again, airlift performance controller. Guys, check out this Mercedes 190E. Looking at it from a distance, it looks like there's a lot going on. What do you think? Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's done really well? Drop a comment. We'll take a closer look. It's obviously got the Louvre going on. Spoiler, got an AMG kit. Some crazy, yeah, he looks like he's turned the original Merc hubcaps into like a BBS fan sort of deal. It's got a cage going all the way throughout the car. BBS super rare, BBS steering wheel, Recaro seats. Dumped on the floor. This looks like a, slow, a show slash track inspired build. Pretty cool, what do you guys think? Might be a little bit too much, but cool nonetheless, really clean. What do you guys think? I want to hear from you, drop a comment. You know we love a classic Benz, this is like got it going on, man. 
see if it's even cool. Yeah, super, super nice fitment. Tucking it hard. Oh yeah, check out that 964 and BBS's. Such a combo. That's pretty much 964 perfection to me. Okay guys, this is the first standout car. It's a Ferrari Testarossa with a Liberty Walk kit on it. Obviously on air suspension, some amazing looking custom wheels. But yeah, what do you think? Would you do this to a Testarossa? They are a proper premium car nowadays. They're a lot of money. And these guys are top secret. They put a Liberty Walk kit on it. It just looks mad. I mean, the Testarossa is an insane looking car as it is. And they have just widened the rear end even more so. It's, it's crazy to see. It's like one of those renders you see on the internet where they've actually done it in real life. So props to Top Secret for actually going ahead and doing this thing. Absolutely insane. If you come around to the rear, this thing is so wide. I mean, it's a wide car anyway. It's absolutely nuts, absolutely insane. The wheel fitment, the air suspension, it's just getting this thing looking super hard. It's absolutely insane. What do you guys think of it? Would you ever bag something like this? Right guys, so you might have noticed it's a little bit noisy in here. The show's not even open to the public yet and they're blasting the tunes. This is pretty typical of XS, they love their loud music. So this will be going on till about 11 o'clock at night. So hopefully you can hear me. Anyway, on the other scale, we've seen a Testarossa over Liberty Walk kit. Seems like bag Ferraris are a theme here. Check out this F430 wrapped on some stunning Boston wheels. What do you guys think of that? That's something pretty different. And look, check it out, even the guys from Auto Finesse have made a trip over from the UK. They've got the E28, got the Caddy, R32 Skyline, pretty cool. I do love this car. So we actually did an audio install for the guys at Auto Finesse. I'll drop a card up on the right of the screen here. Check out the audio bill we did in their E28, it's pretty cool. The Fiend stand is always insane. Check out the 992 they got on the stand here. Mad color. They've also got a super, super cool BMW M4 static. Loving the wrap color on this. What do you guys think? Such a cool, look, look at the three piece wheels on that. Super, super cool. And then over here, we've got a G60 Corrado. This is like a custom wide body. I saw this in the old race at Poland last year. Super cool car, you gotta check out the wide body, the rear arches on this car are absolutely insane. And yeah, running a set of stepped BBS RSs, obviously on air suspension. It's a very, very cool car. You've gotta see the rear fitment. Check out how wide these dishes are. Absolutely crazy. And yeah, arch to lip fitment all round. Just, it's just, this car's another level. You'll, when will you ever see anything like this again? And it's a proper retro feeling to it too. Got Mose 991 on air suspension. Some crazy cool Rad 48 wheels. I love these. These like suit the car absolutely perfectly. Gorgeous. Yeah, again, Archer Lip Fitment is like a common thing here in XS Car Night. Every car is just done to perfection. But well, this is stunning. He's got some red Recaros inside, a massive wang on the back. What do you think of the massive rear wang? I think it's stunning. To me, this is a perfect 991. 
I'm mean, not sure what it's like to drive. It's got some stretch of rubber on there, but I'm sure it drives lovely. It's, it looks absolutely stunning. This car's had a few different guises. It was here a couple of years ago and it was wrapped pink. And now I think it's back to the original color in black. I think it looks a lot better now. Yeah, just digging the wheels, really. It's awesome. And on the other scale, if you look over there, Jason, we've got another super low Ferrari. This one's static, but yeah, running three-piece wheels. It's amazing what a, what a transformation, just a subtle drop and some three-piece wheels. It's amazing what a transformation that does to a, to a Ferrari like this. Really cool to see, because as you know, in the UK, we rarely see like Ferraris highly modified like this. So yeah, absolute joy to see things like this. This is the Porsche collection room. Stunning selection of Porsches, absolutely stunning. And such a variation as well, all modified. Guys, I'm gonna end things with a car close to my heart. BMW 635 CSI, they are stunning. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed the final part of our XS Car Night Weathersea Edition coverage. We've given you two full videos full of crazy content, crazy cars that you will only see here at XS Car Night. The creme de la creme of the European car scene, the stance scene. We've even seen cars from the UK here. It's absolutely incredible. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Drop a comment below. Let us know what your favorite car was from the whole series. It's really tough to make a decision on that. I think it's got to be that Mercedes limo, the uh, W124. Crazy, crazy car on low rinses and airlift suspension, all that jazz, all the good stuff. So guys, yeah, just remember to like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. We've probably got one more WebC update for you, so make sure you're on the channel ready for that. It'll be dropping soon. So we're going to go up here, get a bird's eye view of the whole of the lake. We are here at one of the famous Any garages just outside of Belden. We are here at Camping Our Nights. It's basically called Turbo Curve. 